to Zia Cooking. I'm so glad that you could join us in the kitchen today. We are going to be creating Granny's Crispy Tacos, and I'm going to show you how to make these wonderful crispy tacos, teach you how to make the shells in your own kitchen. We're going to be using some hamburger meat, and I'm going to show you how to jazz that up. And one important thing, too, is I make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be creating a delicious salsa. Again, my name is Carrie. We're in the Zia Cooking Kitchen, and we are going to have a big fiesta today, a taco party. Make sure you subscribe. Go ahead and click that button if you haven't done that already. We're going to go ahead and start our delicious salsa. Today, I'm going to be using a couple of Roma tomatoes. We're going to use three jalapenos, about a half of an onion, and a couple of cloves of garlic. I took the time and I brought two and a half cups of water to boil in my um, stock pot, and all we're gonna do is simply drop these in. Now this is a very quick, easy way to create a delicious homemade salsa, and this is gonna be enough to cover all of our crispy tacos today. So we drop those in into that boiling water, and we're gonna put the top on there, and we're gonna reduce that down to a simmer. While that's going on, we are going to be taking our ground beef, and today I'm using ground sirloin. This is a 90% lean meat. Use what you have available for you. But traditionally, ground beef is, makes one of the best crispy tacos, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our skillet now. I'm going to go ahead and break this up for just a little bit as we start getting that brown on there and we'll crumble it up as it gets cooking. Now for spices today, we are going to be using a couple of different spices and I have those ready to go. We're gonna be using some uh, black pepper. We're going to also be using some garlic salt that you can see there and some Mexican oregano. And I love the fresh cracked pepper, so let's go ahead and we're gonna add those in to our ground beef as we're getting going. Now, this is my granny's recipe. And when I talk about my granny, I'm talking about Mariana, that beautiful lady that now flies in heaven. But um, she was born on a farm in 1926 in Benino, New Mexico. And this is the first way I learned how to make tacos. So I measure every taco I have to these types of tacos. So let's go ahead and add those spices in with our ground beef there. My granny was a school teacher. And not only was she a school teacher, she was the mom to nine children. So this is something that she would come home and make um, fairly frequently for us. Oh, the smell is starting to be so fragrant and aromatic here in the kitchen. I love it. So as I'm breaking up this ground beef, those spices are infusing in there, I'm going to tell you a little bit about something that my granny had taught me. And um, we all have different ways of making tacos, right? So one thing I've always loved about her special ways of making tacos is that she would incorporate shredded potato into her taco. And she would do it very quickly, and she would just take a couple of well-washed potatoes, and I'm using a russet today, and we're just going to shred those into uh, like as if we were making hash browns, we're going to add these in there now. And these are raw. And again, we just gave them a real good scrub in the sink. And I'm bringing them in with my box grater. And we're going to go ahead and add the, that um, into our taco meat. Now, one thing I always thought that um, was different was when I would go to a girlfriend's house, I told my granny um, they didn't add potatoes to their taco meat because she laughed one day. And I said they had made them wrong. And she corrected me there and said a couple of things. First of all, always worry about what's on your plate. Never worry about what's on anyone else's plate. Because we all love a variety of different things. The other thing she explained to me was that not everybody adds extra to their ground beef. She said, we leave that for the rich folks. And I laughed and didn't understand it. But when you're raising nine kids or you're working with a very tight budget, Adding vegetables in is very New Mexico, and especially potatoes. So let's go ahead and we'll add those to our um, dish now. Now, um, I was going to do two, but I really feel comfortable with adding just the one that we added there. We don't, we don't want them to be too potato filled, but we'd like a nice balance in the blend. So we're going to go ahead and let that start cooking. 
Oh, that smells great. We've got that salsa just where we want it to be, simmering those wonderful vegetables. Now let's move on to the fun part, and that's creating these crispy taco shells. Now, this is something that you're going to do in your home, and it's frying. And I know some people shy away from frying at home. But there is nothing like a real, true, fresh fried corn tortilla. It is unlike anything else. Now, you can always go and buy a box at the store, and that box may have sat around for up to six months before you get to it. And I'm really not trying to pick on anybody or make um, anybody feel bad, but if we can make something fresh, delicious, and affordable in our kitchen, we should be doing it. So let me show you how easy that is to do. What I have right here is my beat-up old skillet. Now, I have a lot of prettier pans, but this is the one I like to fry in. And you can see I have already went ahead and I turned up the oil, and I'm using a vegetable oil today, and we want it to be nice and hot before we start frying anything in there. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're using a, a corn tortilla, and I'm going to go ahead and just dip that in the hot oil, and I'm going to turn it over once. You see it starts puffing up. You see that? And so I go ahead and I put the fold over. Now the reason I use the tongs that I'm using, or these can be um, used in high heat, and then I'm using a wooden spoon so it doesn't heat up or burn me. You're going to be real careful when you're cooking in your kitchen. Oh my goodness, I know you can see that when you zoom in there. Making your own taco shells are so fun. I know that sometimes people say, how could you find any fun with doing a frying in your kitchen? But in all reality, um, it's, a, it's a great way to bring on a little bit of tradition. It reminds me again of my granny and how much fun we would have in the kitchen. Look how quick that came together. Now, you can decide on how um, crispy you'd like them to be. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a little close-up as we shake that oil off. You see that nice, crisp shell there? And that is delicious. So we just go ahead and add that in with those others for drainage. Again, let's drop another corn tortilla in there. Cook it for one or two seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and flip it over and you'll see those bubbles start bubbling up and yes, we're going to have the crispy taco shell. Folding it over gently. Practice makes perfect. Don't be afraid if you break a few along the way because that's all about learning. It's about getting um, comfortable in your kitchen and creating a real delicious flavor, a real favorite. I know that a lot of people, when we talk about tacos, we have soft tacos, we have roll tacos, we have flautas, we have street tacos, but I think that the true New Mexico favorite is those really crispy ground beef tacos, and that's what we're making today, so I'm glad that you guys are here. But in that shell finish, let's go ahead and make sure our beef is getting a little bit of love and attention. We don't want to skip out on that. We have a really nifty tool, and I know I'm kind of loud here in the kitchen with everything going, but these are wonderful. If you don't have one of these, you might want to pick one up. These are just fabulous for breaking up ground beef. You can also make this recipe with ground turkey. Um, you can use chicken or ground pork as well. But hamburger meat is a real um, traditional way of making crispy tacos, and that's the way that we're doing it because we're making a granny style today in the Zia cooking kitchen. Lovely. Now, I like to get down in the kitchen, and I can hold it down, and I can run three or four pans. But if you're not comfortable with it, you can go ahead and make the shells first and then jump them to your ground beef. But I feel really confident today that I want to show you how quick it is to run around your kitchen. I used to ask my granny, how can you cook so fast and how can you have every single burner going? She would say to me, Mija, the sooner we get done with kitchen duties, the more we can relax in the evening. So I like to do the same as her, especially after a long, busy day. So let's just recap again. We've got ground beef, we've got our shredded potatoes, and these are almost done. We have our salsa just about ready to go for our blending. And we've already fried up our crispy shells, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Oh, this looks great. So I'm going to finish this up, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to have you join me back in two minutes in the kitchen, 
as I sit here and slobber all over myself because it smells so beautiful in this kitchen, I can't get over it. And we're going to come together, I'm going to show you how to create that salsa. Make sure you stick around so you can watch that final part. And subscribe if you haven't taken time to do that. And share this recipe with all your friends and family. And we are finishing up those crispy tacos and I can't wait to taste them. And the kitchen is smelling beautiful and this is a wonderful meal. You saw how quick it was to put together so there's no reason why anybody cannot put this together. This is a wonderful, wonderful meal for you guys to make, especially for you guys who want to impress a lady. Bring her over and make her a crispy taco. Let me tell you about this salsa. Remember we dropped in those Roma tomatoes and we did half of an onion. So let's go ahead and add those into our little ninja, our mini blender. We're gonna add everything in there. And don't forget those cloves of garlic. Don't hold back on that garlic. It has so many health benefits. It's delicious and it is tasty. Now you notice when I did my ground beef, I only used spices and I used some potato. Uh, sometimes people like to add in chopped onion or garlic or other things. Now you might have had a chance to see my picadillo recipe, which also used ground beef and potatoes and I incorporate the onions and the other things. So you might wanna go ahead and look down at those videos and if you haven't subscribed, I'm gonna remind you to do there to do it now. Help me build this channel. It's so much fun to have you guys come back in here and have a good time every week. So let's go ahead and put our salsa together. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze in some lime there. Now a lot of the time I like to add in a big bunch of cilantro, but so today we're not doing that because we're making it granny style. And she made her salsa real simple, four ingredients. Tomatoes, garlic, onion, and jalapenos. Now wouldn't it be the day that this doesn't work while we're filming? It's not plugged in. Oh. <laughs> Let's work together here. Thank you, production. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be a rocket scientist. Were you able to get that plugged in for me? Good. Great. Sorry about that. Just so you guys know, nothing is ever perfect in the kitchen. It's important, though, that you keep a smile on your face and you make it happen because that's real life and that's what it's like cooking in the kitchen, especially in my kitchen. Bam! That was quick and delicious. Well, we don't know if it's delicious. I'm just assuming it, but I'm about to find out right now. So that delicious salsa is coming in. Oh my gosh, the smell of that is absolutely freaking incredible. This kitchen smells delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of spices in there now and mix it in. And today I'm adding just a hint of oregano. I'm adding in some salt and you can see how delicious that salsa looks. Oh yeah. Give it the smell test, and I know that this is going to be great. So, traditional tacos going on here in the kitchen. We have our ground beef, and I'm going to show that off. It's real crispy and delicious, and we have those taco shells. So let's build the taco just like my granny would. We go ahead and start it with some of this great ground beef. And we are going to go ahead and come over here and hit it with some cheese, because everything is delicious with cheese on it. Now for toppings, I like to have a little bit of extra crispy on the top and that's a great way to incorporate some of uh, the vegetables that I like to get my family to eat. And so we're going to add in some lettuce and some tomato. And that is coming out to be one good looking taco. Now you can always add all sorts of extras. Remember, I have some great videos out there. If you want to add some queso, if you want to add some guacamole, it's completely up to you. That is one gorgeous taco. I'm so glad that you guys were here today in the Zia Cooking Kitchen. You guys have a great day. Come back and see me again. Mmm, crazy. I love it.